What's up you guys, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing another collective message for you guys, okay? I'm gonna just pull some cards and we're gonna see what comes out and see what message comes out for you guys. So let's go ahead and use this Oracle too. Quantum Oracle. All right, first, let me go ahead and Let's go ahead and use Cosmic Origins. Okay, first and foremost, I, want, I hope you guys are all doing well, okay? And uh, keep in mind that this is um, this is a general reading. It's not a personal, private reading for you. You know what I'm saying? This is general for the collective, so it may or may not apply to you. I, I just ask you guys that if it doesn't apply to you, let it fly, okay? Because this message is going to be for somebody or some people, okay? Let's go ahead and see what we got. See what message spirit the universe wants you to know at this time okay all right let's go with that on the bottom let me pull a couple from this deck here we'll, we'll dive into this message here what we got for you guys all right let me get the one on the bottom as well all right you guys so mm, interesting we have astral projection spiritual protection and divination on the was on the bottom of the deck okay so all right you guys you see the card here astral projection all right, it says your abilities to astral project are increasing at this time. This ability allows you to intentionally or unintentionally separate your soul from your physical body to travel the astral planes. Use this ability to expand your consciousness, stimulate personal development and enhance spirituality. So astral projection is something that I've that's been happening to me like it started happening to me to me when I was a kid, like in primary school. Okay. I was very, very young when it happened. I didn't know like what was going on, but, um, it just felt natural to me, you know? And I would do it more so like when I was going to like dream state, you know, like I wouldn't set out like, you know, a kid, you're a kid who's going to be setting out. So I want to actual project today. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm five, six years old. No, but like, um, things were just happen, you know? And I would find myself afterwards dealing with like sleep paralysis. So I know for some people this can be exciting and for some people it might be scary, you know? But what I feel is that it is a natural occurrence, okay? We're all spiritual beings living in this human body, you know, this human shell, you know? Uh, but keep in mind that first and foremost, you are a spiritual being first and foremost. Okay. So this is a very natural occurrence. It is nothing to be afraid of. Okay. I feel that somebody out there is scared of this, you know, is afraid of astral projection and afraid of their soul or spirit, whatever you want to call it, you know, leaving their body and they feel that something is wrong. They might feel that is evil, anything like that. Blase, blase. But let me tell you, this is something that is that is natural you know what i'm saying it is a natural occurrence if it was not natural it would not happen be able to happen to you know but i feel that there's so much there's a liberation in allowing yourself to uh experience the spiritual side of yourself more without being afraid okay don't be afraid of your spiritual gifts of your spiritual power, of your spiritual self, and your spiritual connection to to God, to the universe, to uh, the spiritual realms, you know, to your ancestors, to a higher power, to source energy, whatever it is that you, you subscribe to, whatever it is that you believe in, do not be afraid of this innate connection that we're all born with, you know? I, I, I advise you guys to, to embrace these gifts, embrace, you know, um, the positive things that being in touch with you, in tune and in touch with yourself spiritually can bring into your life, how it can enhance your life, how it can um, bring you more 
clarity in your life, how it can bring you more uh, stability, more power, more uh, security within yourself, you know, it can bring you more um, confidence as well, you know, knowing yourself, knowing who you are, okay, and that is what I get when, that is a message that's coming for me with this card, it's like, okay, don't be afraid, you know, uh, use that experience to your advantage, that, like this card says, Use this ability, the ability of astral projection, if that's what you experience, use it to expand your consciousness, to stimulate personal development and enhance your spirituality, your spiritual connection. And when I say enhancing your spiritual connection, this is allowing you to allow yourself to be in tune with the cosmos, in tune with the universe, in tune with God, in tune with your spiritual guides, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know? And that in turn is gonna allow your intuition to soar, you know? It's gonna allow your intuition to open up. So that way you're able to make more um, well-informed, more educated, more um, able to make better decisions for yourself in life, you know? And not have to rely on things too much, you know, that are outside of yourself, you know? You'll be able to trust yourself. You'll be able to grow within yourself and allow yourself to listen to this natural connection that you have, okay? We got spiritual protection and with that fear, like it's like saying don't be afraid because you're being spiritually protected. You got spiritual protection right here, okay? So this card says if you are afraid, right? The card don't say if you're afraid. I'm just I just added that part in there, but it says call on your ancestors, spirit guides spirit family angels source energy your higher self and god to receive protection in the astral realms that may affect you in the physical realms okay so i feel that maybe some of you guys when you astral project you may need to have protection when you're doing that you know you may need to and like i said some of you guys may be going into this state in dream state when you're dreaming you may be um you know, unconsciously or whatever, going into that state. And I feel that when you guys are, I feel this is this is true for a lot of people when it comes to, you know, when you're sleeping at nighttime, when you're, you might be sleeping in the daytime too, but whatever, whenever you're sleeping, you need to make sure that you're being protected as well, you know, and go for protection, however that means to you or whatever rituals or whatever things that you need to do to protect yourself when you're dreaming, when you're sleeping, you know, because we are in a more vulnerable state during that time, uh, just call on and ask for protection. Some of you guys may be into crystals, you know, for protection. Some of you guys may be into sage, you know, smudging. Some of you guys may be into, you know, doing um, uh, protection rituals. Or you may even be into um, doing uh, visualizations, you know, um, stuff like that. You know, meditations, protection meditations and stuff like that. But do whatever it is you need to do, you know, uh, to protect yourself, okay, from when you're sleeping and when you're astral projecting or ast doing, uh, astral travel, whatever, so that you're protected, you know, in those states, okay? Also, we got divination. It says your skills for using divination to connect to your intuition are increasing now. Use the divining tools available to you to help you on your path a wealth of information is available to you through divination whether it is through receiving readings or learning how to use divination tools to connect to your higher power and your higher self help yourself okay so overall i feel that you guys your intuition your spiritual power you know the spiritual gifts are being heightened at this time are being increased at this time for some of you guys i feel that you know these powers are just blooming for you you know these gifts are just blooming for you or you're just now um accepting them you know and that could be why why you've came across this video you know it's it's time for you to trust it's time for you to believe it's time for you to stand in, in your power it is time for you to allow yourself to be powerful you know who you are you know a lot of us have you know our intuition our our uh um, are strongly connected to our in intuition and we can channel messages and 
pick up vibes or maybe impasse and stuff like that. That's there for a reason, you know, that is not just there for just decoration, you know, it's there for a reason. And one of those reasons may be that it is meant for you to help other people. It might be meant for you to do readings for other people, or it might be meant for you to give people spiritual advice, you know, by using your intuition, you know, you might get messages from angels, you might get messages from spirit guides or God, source, whatever, you know. It is time for you to stand in your power because I feel that a lot of you guys have a lot of gifts that you don't use, you know. I feel that some of you guys, which came through strongly, was that some of you guys may be afraid of this power, afraid of this gift, you know, you know. But I feel that you're going to be protected while you're using them. So you're going to be free to develop them, free to use them and, um, in ways to help yourself and other people as well who come to you for help. Make sure they call on your call on your your, your spiritual family to help you, you know, to protect you. We got status quo. And then we got joyous fun. Okay. So this is just telling me that it's time for you to, it's time for a change. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the universe is saying that you can't keep going the way that you've been going. You can't, you can't keep denying who you are deep down inside, you know, at a spiritual soul level you can't keep denying yourself you know this is i feel that for some of you guys this is this is a call to action to allow yourself to be who you naturally are spiritually you know regardless of what other people may think regardless of uh how other people may feel you know some people may think that it's weird that you feel that way or it's weird for you to experience stuff like that or it's something wrong with you experiencing stuff like that you know it is for you to come out of that state and for you to know that you're not giving gifts for no reason. Each gift that you have is a blessing. Each gift that you have is something that you should be grateful for and thankful for, you know, because it was given to you for a reason. Regardless if you understand what that reason is, it was given to you for a reason, you know. And I feel that if you allow yourself to step into your power, if you allow yourself to use this this um spiritual gifts that you have and your spiritual power your intuition if you allow yourself to use it you will you will find a uh, the joy in life for yourself things would change for you you know things will brighten up for you things will i feel that for a lot of you guys the world is just going to come alive you're going to you're going to see the world through a different lens you know i feel for some of you guys you may have been viewing the world through a clouded lens, you know, not really seeing things clearly, not really see, seeing things for what they truly are. But I feel that you're stepping into your power, you're allowing yourself to to uh, be powerful, you know, and to connect with your spirituality. I feel that that is going to open up a, a whole new world for you. OK, I feel that it's going to change things. It's going to make things more vibrant. It's going to make things more. You're going to be able to feel more energy. You know, it's going to, it's just going to be a different playground for you. Okay. Let me see what, uh, advice card we have for you here too. But yeah, like I said, you guys, it's like, I feel that if you allow yourself to experience this, if you allow yourself to, to go down this path, we'll use this one on the bottom. If you allow yourself to go um, down this path, that it's gonna it's gonna bring more fun into your life. It's gonna bring more joy into your life. It's gonna it's gonna be like a, a weight lifted off your shoulders because now you can fully, freely be who you were meant to be all along. You know, we have walk away. Okay, walk away was the card that was on the bottom of this deck, and this card says, "Don't be afraid to walk away from things that either don't work." are no longer working or have ended. Nothing is meant to last forever. When the movie credits are rolling, it's time to leave the theater, start another movie. So I feel that this universe is telling you right now that it is time for you to, to embark on a new journey for yourself, okay? Out with the old, in with the new, you know? You've been denying your gifts for long enough. It is time for you to step in your power. That is what I feel make time it says make time for the ones who love and support you never be so busy that you neglect the ones who are always there in your times of need so i, f I feel that you guys may be just be busy with life in general you know but i feel that it's the same that for you to make time for people 
who are there for you, you know? Because I feel that for some of you guys, it is meant for you to help somebody with that, that that's within that circle. It is meant for you to help somebody. Or, or I feel that some of you guys may even give off this vibe or give off this vibration or of healing when people are in your presence. I don't know if people ever told you that, like, you know, when they're feeling down, they're going through stuff, feeling stressed. If they come around you, they all just somehow miraculously feel better. Like you can ease their pain. You can ease their, you know, their tension. You can uh, bring peace, calming, uh, relaxing peace back into their lives. Because I feel that some of you guys are able to transmute negative energy. And I feel that people just pick up that vibe around you and they just like being around you, you know. And I feel, I feel that there's somebody... Uh, for for one of you guys out there that who needs you right now, okay? And they need your healing vibes. They might need you to listen to them. They might need you to acknowledge them even, you know? Or to let them know that, you know, you you value them and, and your connection with them. We got friendship, okay? This says, when genuine friendship arrives, allow it. Don't block it off and keep yourself from developing and experiencing a beautiful friendship with another person. Take a chance. So I feel that you guys, when you're stepping into your power, I feel that people are just going to be drawn to you. And it is saying, I'm not saying to let everybody in, you know, because you're going to need to know. That's why you need to call on to uh, use the spiritual protection. OK, calling your guides, God, you know, angels, whatever it is that you subscribe to to protect you but there's new people that are meant to come into your life new people who want to establish friendships with you or connection with you this could even be family members you know who you've been uh estranged what's that word estranged estranged well i don't know whatever the hell uh people who you've been not in contact with you know estranged that's what i think it is but <clears throat> not in contact with you but i feel that you know it is time for you to open up, you know, open up and, and, and allow yourself to connect with people, you know, because I feel that these relationships were meant to come into your life. You know, this is all I feel like this is all a divine plan for you. You know, if you allow it to happen, if you allow things to if you allow yourself to to blossom, to bloom, I see a butterfly. I'm seeing a butterfly in my mind right now. I feel that you guys may need to transform. You guys may be transforming. And you may have been in this chrysalis stage for so such a long time, but you're not breaking out of the cocoon. It's time for you to break out of the cocoon and show everybody what a butterfly. Uh, butterful. I, I was about to say butterful. Mixing beautiful and, and butterfly together. <laughs> butterful. Uh, make sure that you you know show people how the what beautiful uh, butterfly that you've transformed into. You know. All the events I feel that you've experienced in life is leading up to this moment. And I feel that this is a call of action, call to action for you if you accept it. Because you are one of the light workers. You're one of those people who are meant to to uh, to raise the collective consciousness. Oh, that's not too deep for some people, but if it does resonate with you, I hope that you accept this message as well. And if it doesn't resonate, allow this message to get to the people who it's meant to get to. Because it's meant for somebody, okay? You're not alone in this situation. You're not the only one who goes through maybe fear with astral projection. You're not the only one who is learning new things at this time about yourself spiritually. Or may have been trying to shut your, close yourself off in that manner. You know, it's a lot of people out here like that, you know, it was just time for you to to allow it. OK, I'm hearing allow it, allow it, allow it to happen. OK, that's what I got for you guys in this reading. If it resonated, like and subscribe, share your thoughts. If you like the message as well, spread positivity, love, peace, joy, all that good stuff. And I'm sending all those vibes out to you uh, if you're watching this video. And I wish you guys all the best and hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. OK, take care. Ciao.